welcome back to our another video. Hi guys. What are we doing today? Today we are baking a flan. I am baking a flan. Damn, just today push Today you are not needed <laughs> because I am the master chef. He is. He's going to be doing most of the work. I'm just here We're going to do the simple way to make a flan. So welcome to my kitchen. This series is called Cooking with Chicken. You need eight eggs, two evaporated milks, two condensed sweetened milks, and we're gonna try it with sweet condensed goat milk. Dun, dun, dun. And it's gonna be bomb. I'll be the judge of that. So we're gonna do all this in like 10 minutes max. Cooking time is like an hour, but the whole setup thing will be like 10 minutes, so. So yeah. we'll see how it turns out. Right now we need to open everything up. First we gotta open one evaporated, well two evaporated, and the two sweet condensed. You don't open it all the way so that the lid does not get stuck. Alright, so we got everything open. This is gonna be for for later, but I'll just open the packaging. Have you guys ever tried this? I suggest you do. First, once you got everything ready, is you need eight eggs. You need to crack eight eggs into the blender. And the second feels fake. I'm a master egg cracker. I can even do one handers. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Next one, I'll try it. I didn't get a good crack, that's why. Look, look. Oh! Call me Gordon Ramsay. Those are eight eggs. Next, you're gonna put the milks. So you. That's a lot of sugar. No one. Flans are really unhealthy. You think? I don't think about it. Next is the evapor. Oh. oh, you don't need a fork. Dude, I'm <laughs> spilled. I think we need a bigger blender. You're Next, gonna... the vanilla extract. Let me put a little bit. That's probably more than <laughs> Yo, that's like that meme for the girl. It's like a little bit of vodka. <laughs> oh, yeah. so Two shots of vodka. You put this. Look at the mixture. Look, look. Can you see the colors? Everything's separated. It's a little brown. It's yellow over here. White. And then a whole bunch of diabetes over here. A splash of diabetes. All right. I think we got everything, actually. So now? So now you cover it. So it doesn't... Yo, this is gonna spill. If you make a mess, you're cleaning it. It's gonna be good for the vlog. A little cooking vlog. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I've never actually done it in a blender. Oh my gosh! We're gonna go slow. This is spilling. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yo, you're cleaning the kitchen. Okay, so spilling a, it's a little bit. So maybe don't do the jumbo eggs. Unless you got a bigger blender. You have a bigger blender at home? No, I never do it with a blender. <laughs> so then what do you do it in? I do it with a mixer. So why did you do that? Because it's an easier investor. I'm telling your mom. Anyways, well this is the one this is what my mom tells me to tell you guys. So they don't know our secrets. So you just said it. No, but I don't it's different. I do it differently. It's not just with a thingy. Like, that's not the only secret, dummy. Okay, we're gonna pretend it's done, okay? Next thing is you get your containers. I don't know why they're so taped up. I think I just ruined one. Luckily, there's three. Okay, Next and the final, well, close to the final step, you get the cajera. I mean, cajeta. Which is this. You gotta layer the bottom. You just do it somehow. But make sure it's covered most of it. We don't gotta do the uh That's probably too much too. No, this is perfect. So now once you got that, you put them right there next to each other, right? Look at that. That alone you can just eat. Mm. Nice. You do one more mix and hope that it actually mixed out. Can't be, can't be 
31 plays. Alright, that should be alright. Oh, it's gonna be a mess taking this off. Sorry, mommy. Okay, okay. Yo, that's to the top. That probably you could probably drink that. That's Let me mean, that would not drink that. That's what you eat? That is literally a I can't believe you watch the recycle stuff. This is like a flan, like so try not to spill. Put it on the floor on the thing. And I spilled. Lord Jesus, man. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, baby's not it's falling out. We did too much. Yo. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay because perfection comes messy. Okay. The way I look at it, we have a little bit left. The next step is clean up everything you've done if you have committed to make a mess. Next step is you gotta cover the, the things with tin foil. Okay. Again, do your best. Damn, these are very cheap. Don't buy these at the dollar store, guys. Spend a little extra buck. Spend a little more. We'll be a little bit more sturdy. And not so like... Like everything's about to break right now. So this technique in Spanish is called... Baking in Baño Maria, is it? I don't know. So, you put hot water, then you put the stuff in it, you put it in the oven, and it's like Maria's taking a shower. Oh, by the way, try to use hot water so you don't have to like heat it up in the oven. Like, you know, it's already hot. It's already technically cooking in a way. Okay, so this might be actually too much water. Oh God. I'm like the worst. By the way, guys, I'm doing my best, okay? So you put these, it's gotta go halfway. Yup, that's too much water. Okay, so, you know, at first you don't succeed. Just try again. So we're gonna take the water we use in the same cup. <laughs> no, but this is gonna be fire. Like, the flan is about to be fire. Now should be fine. So you put these in. Can't see. Is that more than half? Mm. Yo, how can you tell? That's like no, about right. That's about right. Okay, okay. So about halfway. Right? So that's one. When you put this one, it's actually gonna make it go higher. You do like, like you go over right, and then you just then you just squat. And then it goes, oh damn, they don't fit. Oh wait, they do. Okay, so now once that's done. It's too much water. Whatever, some water is going to evaporate. Without spilling, you squat. Yo, I think water wasn't in the flies. Anyway, so you put it down. Push it in. Carefully, don't burn yourself. Kids, do this with parents. Parents, don't look like fools and burn yourself in front of your kids. Okay, it's in. You close it. Okay, so after you put it in the oven, you leave it for one hour. Then, in one hour, you you uh, uncover the tin foil and you poke it with a knife. If it comes out kind of clean or almost clean, it's ready. If it comes out clean, you did it too much. And if it comes out dirty, then you got to put it in for another like 15, 20 minutes. So, yeah. All right, we'll check back in an hour. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're back. It's been one hour. Yeah. We took a little nap. He did. I was watching a vlog. All right, so you got to find one of the knives. Where's the, uh, the mittens? <laughs> oh, I'm throw it in the oven. So, come here. Take any bigger one. Get the ones that fit you. You don't even live here. All right. Some more flan spilled into the water. What are you doing? I'm gonna uncover it. Oh. Okay, it's ready. 
it's kind of clean, you only get a little bit. It's perfect. We can uh, actually turn the oven off. Out the way. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. We take the flan out. Okay, we take them out. Put them on the oven. On top of the stove. On top of the stove. You see the white? See how it's white? It's because we put too much water and a little bit of the mixture spilled out. So that's okay. Now, you might get the mitt. Oh, wait, we gotta. Put, ah, the mitt's wet. The mitt's wet. Ah, ah, ah. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah, hot. I don't know why you grabbed don't it. Don't stick your mitt into the water. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so You're gonna, gonna do it again? Heat. Yeah, but we'll do it quicker. I would just say, Gary, did we do it with paper towels? Yeah, let's use paper towels. My finger hurts. My finger hurts. First, let's move this. Oh, uh, that hurt. Over here. I'm trying to save the world, aren't we? Uh, okay, so after you've done that. Oh, dude, my finger's red. Ah, ah, Let's ah. see. Oh my god, it is red. What were you doing? I was kidding? Yeah. Anyways. Look at that flan. Look at that. That's the texture you want. Well, I don't know if you want the extra. <laughs> Wait, let me check. What have we not done yet? No, it's good. It's good. Look at that. Jiggleness. See you jiggle? This one is not ready. This one is ready also. It's a little dirty, but it's okay. That's how we like it. A little dirty. Leave these to cool for like 10-15 minutes, then you can put them in your refrigerator. Once they're completely cool, you can turn them over into a bigger plate and just start yum 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 and start eating it, okay? That's it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. But I'm just going to taste it tomorrow and let you guys know how it was. Plus, it's better when it's cold. You yeah. never want to have flan when it's warm. Yeah. Okay, guys. We got the flan. It's right here. So after you let it cool down and put it in the fridge, you must... You must un someone ate already. So then you take a knife, cut it... Um, you cut it around the border, I guess? The edges? Yeah, the edges. So you take your knife around the edges. You grab the plate. A big, a plate that's big enough. Here's where the magic comes. Try to get it to like. You're gonna make a, mess. a perfect fit. <laughs> this is gonna make a mess. Yeah, I'm scared. Okay, then you just go. And voila! We made it a little bit of a mess, but it's not bad. here's how it looks. <gasps> Carlos. You in the face. Okay, don't tilt it. You this idiot. is what it looks like. And then you grab a fork. Your girlfriend, fiance, grabs a fork too. She doesn't wait for you. Don't we put too much cajeta? You did. It tastes like. It's still so good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Here's my taste test. Mm. Now that I think about it, it's, this was pretty quick. Yeah. Like to make the flan. Okay, so the consistency is there, right? That's what you look for in a flan. When it doesn't crumble, it just melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And this is what this does. It's kind of like jello almost. Where it's so smooth, it's so rich in flavor. Yeah. I really like it. That's really good, yo. Yum. Mm -hmm. and, it, and the other way is even a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You guys think that we're lying and we're just saying it's good, but it's really not because it's our flan in our channel. Mom. So we're gonna get a, a special guest. Be honest with All right, critique. Ugly ass sister who took a bite. She watches a lot of cooking shows, so she kind of knows what she's talking about. Good. Approved. Oh. That, that first of all, that's a terrible review. Bring back the flan. <laughs> Oh, your hand's probably sticky. No. Okay, so that was the proof. She tried walking away with it. Next guess is probably gonna be her brother. That was a taste test. Goodbye.
Hey guys, so my brother's gonna try the flan now. This is like day three after we bake the flan because my family either gets home too late and then I'm already knocked out. So he's gonna try it now. I Okay. <laughs> it's good. Rate it from 1 to 10. Eight, nine. Yeah, Why? Eight, eight, because it tastes like metal. Aluminum a little bit. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh I'll my try. god. It does not taste like. It tastes weird. But it has that weird aftertaste. Like metal. Yo, you're kind of right. Yeah. Never get your things from the Dollar Tree. Nah, it tastes like metal, because then your flan tastes like metal. But if it didn't taste like metal? It would be a solid Like nine. the consistency? A 9.5. Right. Okay. Yeah, but it just tastes like metal. I don't like metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's too caro. Está bueno. That's good. So, yeah. I have, you didn't own 100. Thank you. Anyways guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys try this. Remember, do not burn your finger. Do not burn your house down. And look at these perfection. Look at that perfection. It look, doesn't look perfect, but it tastes perfect. It's like, look at that glow. Look at that highlight. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Remember, subscribe, thumbs up, follow, and share. And again, episode one of Cooking with Chicken. <laughs> Bye!